What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. You know what it is. Your boy, John. It's a fucking everybody slayer this week. Everybody slayer. I fucking whooped everybody's ass I rolled with this oh, week. Oh, I'm going to have to ask about this. All white belts. What's up, homie? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I rolled with somebody else. No, Nick fucked me up. Yeah. Nick fucked that makes me sense. Up. Yeah. Made me fucking made me verbal tap a couple times. <laughs> oh damn! Like that? Yeah, he had me like fucking trapped in the. You like? Da, 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 no, 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 but it's funny. Me and him are rolling, and we heard that from across the mat. Like he he got me, and like he had my arm spent. So I was like tap, and then we're rolling again, and then on the other side of the mat, I heard tap 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 tap. I was like, damn, what <laughs> the fuck is going on over there? It's always interesting because it's kind of embarrassing because everybody looks. We just like, Ooh, I want to wait. I fucking. I rather fucking scream that shit. Oh yeah, that yeah, yeah. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. It's been yeah. a week. I mean, I only rolled one day this week. Dude. My foot's uh, been fucked up. I rolled one day, but it was kind of like the kind you know when you when you want to chill roll. Yeah, it never happens. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> I went in to like a ten a.m. and it was like I think it was just all white belts and blue belts, and then um, Richard, which is the black belt, and that was it. It was like nice chill, like just roll. I don't know why this fool Richard is ducking me, dude. It's 10 a.m. Just, just want me to clap those cheeks or what? My fuck, I got a job, dog. So do I. Just come on 10 a.m. I'm telling you, I'm going to find all your uh, superiors on LinkedIn <laughs> and start sending them these fucking videos. <laughs> come to 10 a.m. Shout out to Wildcard MMA. Got the fucking ultraviolet. We're going to try this. If it yeah, sucks, good. you're going to have it's to do you. something bad. <laughs> you, you or I want my dollar sixty back, dog. See what these are like. Yeah, these are these are good. Those are good, too. The one I, oh, I, I like it. The one That's I really good. want to try is, um, and they sell out instantly, is I think it's um, a Ghost. I think it's Ghost. I like the they Ghost make, ones. But they make a Welch's Grape oh, one. Sure. But as soon as they get them, so yeah, I guess I guess they're from Why Chicago they or something like that. I think that's the brand. I think they're in Chicago. So one of my coworkers, he's been he keeps we we like talk about energy yeah. drinks. But he was he was sending me a picture of it, and I was like, man, that looks yeah. good. I haven't seen it. We went into the vitamin shop. I think it was. And they had like one of those container yeah. things, but it was empty. And I was like, "You got any in back?" And they're like, "They're like as soon as they show up, they show they're up. gone." I was I was heavy on the ghosts for a while, and then it's funny. It was like jujitsu related, so I was heavy on the ghosts. And then I went to go compete in Arizona, and like when I compete, I try to do the same thing I do every day, like eat the same thing in the morning, like because I usually yeah, eat, so like, you're not off. You're yeah, like, it's yeah, like yeah. like the same routine, right? So I go and I get a ghost, and I drank it, and I wasn't that hungry, so I didn't eat. And I was getting ready to compete, and I'm sitting like on the Jerry? fucking sidelines, all fucking like <laughs> tweaking, dude. Because those ghosts, I, it's fucking yeah. I'm not, dude. I'm not a huge fan of the ghosts because of that. Yeah. And I think they, like C4 and Ghost, I feel like they're more like pre-workout drinks pre than just a regular drinks. energy drink. And so they they give you that like they little, got niacin in them. Too, yeah, so once in a while you'll be itchy. Yeah, yeah. They give you that little extra yeah. where like if you're not working out yeah. and you're just like oh, I just need some energy. Yeah, you're like oh, this is not. Yeah, you're like <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I try to avoid those ones. Just because of that, I like like I'll just take the regular. The ones, ones are crazy. What are the real popular ones that like? They're usually like a dollar too. Fuck. So they're, they're like they're like C fours. No, they're like the C fours. Those things are like straight tweak when you drink them. Red red line. I think. Nah. Red line. I'll, I'll think of the name throughout mm. before we get done. But yeah, so you only rolled one one day. Yeah, yeah, me too. Like I got. I think I don't know if I talked about it on here, but someone fell on my foot in judo. Yeah, you were saying that. Last Dude, week. my shit was fucking swollen and black and blue, and like it. I just I it was feeling good. It felt good on Friday, but I wrapped the fuck out of it. Like I put, uh, Brianna has some of that ki that kinesic tape or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I put that on, and then I got just like the Fuji tape and fucking went mm -hmm. hammer time on it, and it felt good. Like I was surprised how good that worked because I when I was doing the technique. I showed up a little bit late, so I just threw my gi on. And I was doing the technique, and uh, he was showing something like where you lean in and you lean back on your foot. And I leaned on my foot one time, and I almost fell down because like it just you can feel there's something not right yeah. in there. But once I taped it up, it was good. But I just I didn't try to stand with anybody. Yeah, I just. <clears throat> I don't know, man. It's this week has just been, just haven't felt like doing shit. I haven't worked out. I haven't really done any lifting. But then um, Noah started wrestling. Like, he's in season. And so they're doing six days a week. And so I have to, like, take him at four. Or he stays after. Yep. And I take Nathan. Doesn't Nathan, it not start till November? That's her, like, first matches yeah. start coming up. But so Nathan, right now they're getting after Nathan it, yeah. is um, an assistant coach. Oh, so nice. he's helping coach the team. So I have to take him. And then... They're technically scheduled. Nathan is a grown fucking man. Make that little motherfucker walk, dog. Yeah, That's all I was going to tell you the other day when you said you had to go get the boys or whatever. Well, as soon as he gets his license, he'll be taking a car. So he, I don't have to drive him back and forth. But he, uh, um, their uh, their schedule is like 4 to 7. So any, they usually get off around 6, between 6 and 6.30. And so this week I'm trying to like get used to like 
get them home and then try. Yeah, you know, they're both adults, dog. Make them walk. I'm all, like a two mile. Big ass boys. How far is that from here? No, it's not even two miles. Yeah, like I had mile. to walk back and forth to high school. Yeah, it's not that far. Like uh, I took the bus in high school, uh, but my senior year, I got out like at ten o'clock. I only had two classes my senior year, two or three classes. So I'd walk home, and yeah. I walked up. It was uphill, dude. Steep ass fucking hill. This guy through the snow. No, it was and the Vegas. Sleet. Re- Vegas. Oh, hottest, so the heat, hottest balls are. The heat. And the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't ever. There's not it. many hills in Vegas, man. Dude, where I live, it's on the hill. Oh, you can see it. Like if you go to the Strip, you look east. There's a giant like pyramid shaped mountain. It's called Sunrise Mountain. Uh-huh. I lived at the very top of it, the last main street. Huh. Yeah, and my street, my my school was right at the kind of bottom of the hill, so I have to walk up that far. Yeah, dude, there's crazy hills in Vegas. Vegas surrounded by mountains, homie. Surrounded by mountains. Yeah. All the houses go up the mountains and shit. Hmm. I don't know. I never I never driven out that far to look at that. So. It's not but yeah, the other side of town, there's shit to do. On that side of town, there's nothing to do. That was always, every time I go, I try to like, I'm like, what is there to do outside of this little strip to be cool to go? Like, we gotta go stay like at Red Rock one time. That place is cool, like the Red Rock Casino. Mm-hmm. It's way off the strip. It's up in the hills, like way on the west. I guess it's the west side of mm-hmm. Vegas, southwest. Um, but there's dude, there's tons of hiking and shit up there. Oh, that'd be cool. There's this place called Mount Charles. Well, so Red Rocks looks like it's like these crazy red canyons and shit. I actually never been there. I grew up there, but I never went. But I did go to Mount Charleston a lot. So the Mount Charleston is like north, way northwest of Vegas. It's probably mm-hmm. like an hour outside of mm-hmm. Vegas, but it's this crazy mountain. There's all these hiking trails and shit up there. That's where we used to go to the snow and shit. I like hiking, but you got to go with the right people. Because if you go with someone too fit, <laughs> you're like, God damn First it. All, slow the fuck down. We don't know anybody in that category of too fit. Look, I'm, Dan I, I went hiking with Kenny. Kenny isn't like... K6? Yeah. That fool's out there in dad pants hacking and shit? Dude, he fucking is a savage. Really? He don't, he's like, got another, he just doesn't stop. I'm like, bro, just fucking chill. We're not in a race, man. We'll go together. But he's also like taller. Yeah. So like, he's like way taller. So he's got like a longer stride. So it's like, you know, maybe that's just his normal pace. And I got short fucking legs trying to keep up with him. Like, (laughs) (laughs) that's fucking funny. (laughs) It's like that. I'm like, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) Yeah, no. Nah. Well, I mean, if we're going to go hiking, we're going to have a cooler backpack full of beer, so. I'd... So, there's a hike that I wanted to do in San Diego. It's it's, there's it's funny. There's snakes out there, it's dude. It's funny. It, it's 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 you have to go out in the back area and then there's like a nudist colony. Hell and yeah. you have to go through the nudist colony, I think. Blacks? Um No, is it Blacks Beach in the San No, Diego? no, it's like in the mountains. Oh, okay. But it it's a like a 2-hour trail. Mm-hmm. And it's to the oldest wood trussell bridge. I know exactly what you're talking about. You know, yeah. Yep. So you can yep. hike out there and fucking, but it's a long fucking hike. Dude. The problem with those nudist colonies is nobody you want to see is naked. Oh, I, I don't want to go to the fucking colony. I'm just saying you have to go through yeah. that area. I don't yeah. know if you have to go through it or like you have to park by there to get to the, the start. Dude, I, but that trussell canyon yeah, looks I know fucking exactly, sick. I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, you know, there's another one I just saw recently. It's kind of like in northeast county, mm-hmm. like north county, but probably like east of it. There's like this area that's supposedly super haunted. It's like this road. We should go out there at night. Oh, that'd be dope. Get real spooky. That'd be dope. That'd be fun. I'm fucking ghosts don't want this shit. I'll take that fucking ghost down. Hear the fucking rear naked and shit. <laughs> Some motherfucker. Fuck you. <laughs> Throw some holy water. <laughs> oh, I, got, I got something for your ass. I though. see that. I saw you brought something. So I bought a fucking grip strength meter. <laughs> you can buy these on Amazon for 20 bucks. I was listening we to should, it. We should record to take it to the gym and do a video. What do you think I got All it right, for? Okay. So uh, the... Um, Flo came out with a new podcast. It's pretty good. And they call it the, the if you're a little grippy, if you don't got a good grip, you're in the little grippies club, then there's the real grip. So they've been having people send videos in. So I was like, I'm going to get it, make a video, and send it in. First of all, I'm in the little grippies club. This motherfucker is hard. Well, yeah, that's just. So I, the best I've hit, I think, was 90. That's pretty good. No, dude. These motherfuckers are hitting like 100. Well, no, no, I saw that. Yeah, I saw like the, <laughs> like that was like the pro athletes yeah, were hitting yeah. like 100, but like the average, like a person was right. doing like 80 to fucking 60. Oh, okay. And then there was a the oh, I chick. I feel good about that. There was a chick, like a UFC chick. She yeah. did like 120 on there. I was like, holy fuck. All right, so I'm going to try to get this set up real good. So it's at, it's at zero. It's going to be embarrassing. You see, it's at yeah, zero. Yeah, zero. And oh, this is going to be embarrassing. <sighs> 88.8. That's pretty good. All right, let's see. I don't think that's that bad. I don't know. This thing's fucking hard. I- I'm in the normal range. This is what it says. I hit one on the drive over here. And it was all weak. <laughs> what about your left hand? Oh, let me see. If you I said can... that was 88.8 on yeah, your 88. right hand. 8. Let's see your left hand. My left hand's not going to. I definitely got nothing on my left hand. 92, Dude, 92. 92.4. Woo! On your left hand. Yeah, left That's hand. your not good hand. Yeah, the left hand is my sleeve grip. So, I mean, that's probably uh, why. Because yeah. you know, my right hand is my collar grip. Let's see if we can get oh, this going. Oh, man. This is going to be embarrassing. There you go. Is that zero? So, 
The grip, like, find a good grip oh. on it, too. I don't want you to fucking, I don't want you to embarrass yourself, dog. See. I put, uh, it's better like that. Damn, I see his forearms flexing and shit, the veins popping. Out. <coughs> That's going to be good. Damn, 115. 115. Yeah. That's fucking good. Yeah, this motherfucker's got monster grips. Uh, hit that start button, I think. There you go. Right. My left hand is fucked up, so I don't think I'm going to get a good grip on this one. Let's see. That's pretty good, 115. We'll have to mark that. It slipped out of my hand. That's still pretty good. 96? That was better than my best rip. So if you want to go on Amazon yeah, and get, get, up in cool. the, get up in the club, this one's called H-I-C-H-O-R, E-H-108. I got this on Amazon for like, it was the cheapest one. I think it was yeah, like we, we got Yeah, we're definitely going to have to do yeah. uh, Let me get one more rip. Would you get 114? 115. I'll do one more. All right. That was a warm-up, you know? <sighs> Fuck, 94? 94? Man, I feel like I might fuck as a pop a vein on that bitch. <laughs> see the shit you're paying. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, let's see. Yeah, you definitely have to get a good, the right grip so it doesn't slide out. Yeah, try to bring your thumb in a little bit too. Ah, damn, this motherfucker's <sighs> on the table over here. <laughs> One twenty-seven. <127. laughs> Woo! <laughs> this motherfucker's got grips. Uh, yeah, it's kind of. I want to feel Omar gets on that. Yeah, he's got good grips. Try you know who I see can do probably can do really good is um, um, Danny. Danny Smith. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He'll yeah. probably do really good. And Ismail. It's it's funny. You say you talk about Ismail. So I was driving over here just now. And I see Ismail walking down the street going into a barbershop with his kid. And I'm like, he just looks like a nice little happy dad. <laughs> little do you know, that <laughs> motherfucker's one of the most savage dudes you'll ever meet. Damn, He's just all, that's pretty good, dude. Yeah. That's really good. You want to take a picture of that for to get rid of it? Oh, sure. Yeah. That's yeah. That's, that's not bad. I'll have him post a picture so you can see which ones we're using. So Anyone's want to try to get in the club, you got to buy the same one because I don't want you motherfuckers cheating. Like I said, I think it was like 18 bucks on Amazon. No, it's not so. bad. They seem yeah. like they'd be more expensive. I, did, I thought that too. Then I was listening to that that Flow podcast and they were talking about you could buy them on Amazon. They're like, the 20 bucks. And I was like, I went right on Amazon right there and I fucking <laughs> bought it. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. But it's funny, like jujitsu. Like, I thought it would be way worse than that. To that's be pretty good, dude. I mean, I just. Could, it's, it's hard as fuck. Because I'm a narcissist, I was like, I'm gonna hit like 180 on that bitch. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I definitely got a better grip than Francis Sangano. <laughs> he did he do it? I think so. It wasn't that crazy. Like like fucking Shama did it. Uh fucking um Alex Pierre did it. And oh, it wasn't yeah. that much. It was like a hundred. Yeah, it wasn't that high. Yeah. But there's a lot of you gotta think, there are a lot of um like no gi stuff, right? So <clears throat> there you go. 101. 101. Fuck. Um, they're like no gi, so it's not like they're yeah. practicing grip. Yeah, but that C grip. I mean, if you can get a good C grip. Yeah. But it's not the – it's 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 more like an outside C grip. I want to see like, Chris Santana or Gabe. Big Gabe will probably – Yeah, this big Gabe will probably get it really good. Yeah, he's got good grips too. Mm. Yeah. That's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. I was, I was a little nervous. I was like, man, this motherfucker – Showing up with shit. <laughs> Dude, when I used to, when I was like really, really serious about playing music, I used to have the finger trainers and uh -huh. I, I had like 10 different ones. Like they were up to like 12 or 15 pounds. You I, just sit there and fucking work your fingers on them. And I, shit. I have the ones that you put on oh, you to stretch like out because yeah. when I first started, like when you're, when you're gripping, like you always like death gripping yeah. and my hands would be like this and be stuck. And oh, like I'd I, have to like yeah. sleep with my hands open and mm. shit on the bed because yeah. I'd wake up and they'd be like. Yeah, they're like ah, and they'd be like clenched. But now, now because I let go, and obviously yeah. the time you learn like, yeah. not to like death grip. You don't need to death grip. Yeah, I don't yeah. have that problem as much anymore. But when I first started, yeah. it was like I I had to get the ones where you do the backward stretches because yeah. it was like all like this. Yeah, I never I never had that problem because when I you know when I was a kid, I played upright bass and it's really grip intensive. So mm -hmm. like your left hand is is a crazy grip the whole time, and then your right hand you hold the bow like a very specific way. And then that was rough. And then, you know, I worked with tools for so long, like, you know, just screwdrivers and shit like that. And like when I, when I was still wrenching on stuff a lot, um, you can't use little power tools. Like when you work on aviation, you're not supposed to use power tools. Because it over torque. You over. don't want to over torque yeah. or strip heads and shit like that. So you just, you're in there fucking with screws and wrenches and all the time. So my hands never really bothered me like that. Every once, what used to bother me, we'll see what I was, because it's about to be winter. But my knuckles get super chapped always. Like my knuckles would be like almost like cracking. I have, like a, I have yeah. a constant. This is always yeah. there. Yeah. 
I mean, that's some real 40 and fighting shit, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised my left hand worked because my, my shit's still fucked up. Like, right here. I can't believe you're wearing that ring, dog. Don't, don't, don't catch you yeah, wearing that shit girl, on the mat, homie. The girl, oh, I want to wear it on the ring. Dude, you get Omar's the his on the mat, dude. You get the glove? No, thank you. Have you ever seen a degloving? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. fuck. It's oh, bad, I mean, dude. It happened to one of our homies, dude. <laughs> oh, well, that was different. That happened yeah. differently. Yeah. That was at work. Um, I was talking to Omar last night, and Carol was asking me about judo, and then Omar kind of chimed in. That motherfucker knows everything about judo. He's, almost, he knows, he's pretty much a he's black belt. He's, he's just got to go get yeah. tested. It, the test is pretty hard. Yeah, but he has to go to Japan to get tested. That's what he, he said. Yeah, well, to the people, to Brazil. The people that... The people, no, he said Japan. Oh, yeah. The people that he's friendly with. But, I mean, I could, I could get him tested here. Hmm. But it's it's like you have to memorize, so it's a kata just like like uh -huh. karate. You have to memorize like a. Is it like live kata? Yeah. Like you just showing the technique? Yeah, but it's like twenty minutes long, yeah. and you have to memorize it. They don't tell you anything. They're like, this is what you have to memorize, and you have to do it in the traditional way. You have to like fucking slide your feet, mm. and then like you have to sit and bow and tie your belt and do all this shit a very specific way, yeah. or you don't. I mean, you're gonna pass if yeah. they're if they're testing you. You're gonna pass. Yeah. But they want you to put the work in because I asked these two black belts I saw get promoted. Um, I was like, "How long have you been practicing this?" And they're like, two days a week for six months." Oof. To get the just all the it's it's, it's it's like twenty minutes on. Yeah. So and it's but it's, it's, is it when you say so like when you say kata, it's like they tell you to do different techniques. They don't tell you shit. You have to know it all. Oh, you just go through it yourself? Yeah, and then then at the end of it, they're like, show me this. Show me that. Show okay. me this. But that's at the end of it. After And, like, these dudes were, like, I was kind of, I was watching it. I think Austin was there when we were doing it, too. But they were pouring sweat because they're throwing each other. So they would each do, they would go back and forth, back and forth and do it. And then, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty intense looking. And, you know, a good example of that is, do you remember when we were at the annual meeting and uh, Hoyler and Leticia Vero? Yeah, did we're doing that, the self-defense. The, the self-defense demonstration. Yeah. It's like that. That's almost identical huh. to the, the. That's cool. I like that though. That looks yeah. pretty cool. Plus, it's a not. It's like a. It's very much more mental. You know, it's all mental. Yeah, so it's yeah. like. Um, I think I think that's what like jujitsu and judo. Yeah. Why a lot of like yeah. nerds yeah. or like people get into it yeah. is because there's a huge mental game to it. It's right? all mental. Yeah, I mean the, the physical part is the smallest part of it. Like when you're when you're training judo, you're training jujitsu, like. Especially in judo, like you make a wrong step, you're getting fucking thrown. Mm -hmm. So like you have to you have to consider like your foot placement, foot placement, hand placement. Like what do I do? How do I set this up? Where do I move this to? Like and it's all these things in a row to get to the physical part. Versus like, let's say you're I don't know playing football. It's all physical. You yeah, know what I mean? Unless yeah. you're a quarterback, it's like yeah. let's just smash each other. You know, judo and jujitsu are very. I mean, the martial arts in general are very cerebral sports. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I mean? that's what Rogan always says that uh, uh, it's like it's human chess. You know. I don't know if I wouldn't consider it chess, but it's 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 its own version of that game. So I'm kind of retarded. I don't know how to play chess, but you're multi. You have to think in multiple moves ahead. Yeah, but in chess, this is why I say this. I, and someone else pointed this out. This isn't mine. Um, it it might have actually been Andrew Wiltsey. First of all, I'm about, a little retarded. Yeah, where he was <laughs> like chess is a lot. It's like you move, I move, you move, I move, yep. you move. Where in jujitsu, probably even judo, the reality isn't you move, I move. It's, yep. I want it to be. I move. I move. I move. I move. Maybe you move. Yeah. I move. I move. Well, I mean, that, like, that, that's how. Do you know how to play chess? Yeah. I assume you're a chess motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. I don't play. I'm not but good I, at it, but I don't but play. But I mean, that's how you play chess. It's like, yes, we're going turn based. Yeah, but, but you're, you're looking. Like yeah, you're trying to make ahead. them make yeah. a mistake. Yes. Yeah. That, in that sense, that's why people say yeah. because you are you're looking ahead. Yeah. You're trying to make yeah. them make a mistake. Yeah. But the reality of it is, is you want more moves than they make a yeah. move. You know. I was rolling this week a little bit, and I was rolling with one of the newer white belts. This motherfucker's strong, dude. Like, I remember when I first, the first time I rolled with him, he probably no stripe white belt. I sat down on him. Dude, I was fighting for my life. This <laughs> motherfucker had it. I was like, God damn. I never got out either. And then I remember in the roll, he was like, how do I get out of this? And I was like, you don't. I had him in the half guard, like reverse half guard. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you don't get out of this. But then uh, I was like, you're doing everything right. Just, you know, work, work the techniques. Showing up. And then I was rolling with him the other day, and I tapped in the pressure on uh the other day and uh he said something to me and i was like let me tell you let me tell you my friend first i cook the rice <laughs> and then i cook the beans and then i make you give me the submission <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what that, i think that's the whole point is like dude fuck trying to fuck trying to force submissions on people just crush people to until death they give until they you. give it to you yeah yeah I was, I was telling malachi the same thing malachi ended up in i ended up in his guard and he's like, oh, oh, and I'm in his guard. And I'm like, you got to be comfortable in the uncomfortable. And he just looks at, he stops doing jujitsu, 
looks me dead in the eyes. And he's like, Misa told me that same shit the other day. I was like, first of all, Misa needs to stop biting my style, dog. <laughs> Misa. Second of all, yeah, just you got to be comfortable. Like, you have to be uncomfortable comfortable in these bad positions. Yeah. yeah. It's all of it. Yeah. 100%. I have flashbacks to positions where I'm fucking being fucking crushed. And I'm like, you just want to tap and you get to, like, you just have to dig deep and be like, nope. I'm okay. I, mean, I can breathe. I'm not in pain. I'm just uncomfortable. I don't even need flashbacks. Just roll with Albert. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, dude. Yeah. Hey, he did win, by the way. Yeah. Did you see that? I did not. Yeah, he, he, ended, he I think I think he ended up being he had to fight the same guy twice and he smashed him both times. He's good. He's good, yeah. man. Fucker's good, dude. Yeah, he's getting he's really good and and he's big. That's funny. I have to I for to for me to beat Albert, I can't submit him anymore. It's, that's over for me. It's just beating him on points. And I have to go. Mm -hmm. I have to catch him on a day where he doesn't feel like getting after it, and I'm getting after yeah. it to be able to beat him because yeah. he, he's so like he says he weighs the same as me. So I mean, I believe him, but he's such a big person. That motherfucker's mitts. He's tall. He's, yeah, dude, he's, his fucking yeah. hands are fucking huge, dude. Mm -hmm. He grabs you. I gotta see Albert hit this thing. That's the first person I'm gonna catch. Albert. Yeah. You gotta record these so we can post them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. Yeah, that's that's cool. But yeah, he's a uh, he's tough to roll with. If I'm not on my, if I'm not on my game, it's, it's game over. I just suffer. Yeah, I, I fucked up and I told him how I take him down, so he's probably not gonna let me do that anymore. <laughs> we were doing technique one day. I was like, "This is what I get you with every time." And then I saw him like his head kind of twitched a little bit, and I was like, "Oh fuck, I should have <laughs> told him." <laughs> <that>. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's hard to roll. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, I I remember like the white belt days. I feel like I think since then. We're, there's only a few upper belts still there. You know, a lot of people drop out over time. But man, I just remember getting fucking crushed to death. I don't remember ever having a good role until I was probably like two stripe or blue belt. Just I mean, I had fucking, good roles with I mean, yeah, other roll white, white belts. belts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah with other white yeah, belts. Yeah. Yeah. So do you um, think we're punishing these lower belts like we should be? No. No. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't I, really. And sometimes, either. like this. Not this, like last week when I went in, my whole intention was to roll more aggressively. And so I was trying to br bring more punishment. Getting ready for pans or what? I was thinking about World it. Pans? But like, World League pans at 222? I, I was, I was, so right, I, I was rolling that way. Um, and then, you know, I realized, like, yeah, I don't, like, go try to murder these guys. I think we should start murdering these lower belts. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe blue belts. I don't know about white belts. Like, I'll, make, I'll give a white belt some work, but... Blue belts for sure. I was rolling with that that big homie that tapped the pressure. I tried to wrist lock him like five times, dude. He's like a one stripe. He kept putting his wrist out. I was just, no white belt. Oh my god. He kept putting his wrist out. And I was like, Ugh! Ugh! a couple times I just fucking grabbed him and I was pulling. And I could see him. I could see his face like. Yeah, I don't. I've never wrist locked a white belt. I if, wanted to. Hey, dude, the feeling when you wrist lock a white belt, the feeling that you get. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. What's that? Uh, it's like that first Thanos, one. Thanos, he's, yes. <laughs> he snaps his fingers. <laughs> it's like, I bet you didn't know this was possible. Oh, man. Let me show you. The, can I show you the world? Or that fucking Disney song? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me. Um, I can show you the world. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. the only thing right there. Wrist lock and white belts, nothing better. This guy. I don't think I ever submitted an upper belt, so I don't know what that's like. But the next best thing, wrist lock and white belts. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I got something to talk about. What you got? Uh, I've been, I was trying to remember this, so I'm glad I remembered it. So I know how this started, which is funny that Brendan Schaub doesn't know how this started. So Brendan Schaub was on his podcast, and he was just talking about fights coming up, and they're fucking making N Nick Diaz fight Vicente Luque. And he was like, who the fuck made this fight? It should be Nick Diaz versus Tony Ferguson. That should have been the fight, because two older heads getting after it at the end of their career. Instead, you give Vicente Luque and Nick Diaz, which... Vicente Luque is a fucking savage. He was almost a champion at 170. The motherfucker is a wild boy. He's a little bit old now. He is going to crush Nick like it's not even fighting. I thought Nate Diaz was fighting too. So. No, Nick. It's Nick Diaz. Hmm. And then, so like, do you remember when Yair Rodriguez fucked up BJ Penn? Mm -mm. Dude, Yair Rodriguez, I, I believe, like spin kicked or like wheel kicked him in the face and knocked him the fuck out. And I think that's what's going to happen to Nick Diaz. And that's basically what Brendan Schaub said, right? You know... <sighs> I I feel about the Diaz brothers is that they just don't care anymore and they're just in it for the money to get that last yeah. paycheck. Because I know if they were to train like they normally train, they would come in like 
And, and but, I agree. And, and it's not. And, and again, it's not that they're not training because they're still like super athletes. They're still yeah. out doing like triathlons yeah. and doing all this other shit, right? So it's not that they're not. It's just that and I don't. I never feel like they come in where they do a full camp dedicated yeah. to a fight. It's yeah. like they rely on their triathlon training yeah. and this and that. Cardio. So that, yeah, and then even when they're fighting, you can see they're kind of like they walk away. Yeah. They're kind of like I don't really give a fuck about yeah. this fight, which sucks. Because I feel that they still have, even though they're older, they're one. They're maybe some of the few people that I think they just have it. I don't. I don't disagree. Like they got the dog in. Them. Yeah. So I don't disagree. But the when they were good in the sport, like when they were you know, dominating, Nick, yeah. Nick, Nick was yeah. Nick was the highest level there was. Yeah. Right? I mean, he was top top. He of the was weight fucking class. people up. Yeah. I mean, he he fought GSP, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they did well against GSP, but the era of MMA was different. When there wasn't people who were lifetime athletes, yeah, and you'd have to look at the the Diaz brothers' kind of trajectory. They were, I mean, at the time Nate, they were Nate one of the probably first. started training. I think he said he was like twelve, 13, yeah, yeah, 14. boxing and stuff, and boxing and, and jujitsu. So like he did karate, I think, then boxing and jujitsu. Yeah. But he was training martial arts Since most most of his life. So yeah. by the time he got to the pros when he was eighteen, he was already five six years deep. Yeah, and a lot of these guys are like, I just want to go fight. Let's go bang. You yeah, know? yeah. And they knew how to fight, so they were they were ahead of the time, and then they got passed up. That's no disrespect to them; it's just it is what it is, right? Yeah. Like it, right now, like look, th that just happened to Volkanovski. Volkanovski was like on like an eighteen fight win streak or some shit, and then he went up and fought Islam and almost bought it. Almost, I mean, I think he beat Islam, super close. I think he beat Islam. They gave him an L. He went back down and dominated fucking Korean Zombie, who was at the end of his fucking career. Went back up, Islam knocked him the fuck out. Then he came back and he fought um, the dude, uh, Ilya Teporia. Ilya Teporia knocked him the fuck out. He's like, I think he's one out of his last five. So, and it's about yeah. Volk before that looked like he could not he be beat. Yeah. But yeah. you get a little bit old, you make a couple bad decisions where you take. But once you get knocked fights. out, too, it's like, I think Joe Rogan yeah. talked about it. And of, of course, I don't yeah. think there's any science yeah. right now backing it, yeah. but it's kind of like in the beginning, your brain is like, you can take this, take, take, take yeah. a beating. And eventually, your brain is kind of like, off. "Is like, hey, we don't need to get beat up. Yeah, anymore. we don't need to get beat up anymore. So yeah. we're just gonna go to sleep. Yeah, you know, when you get hit. Yeah, and then you, that's when you start hearing, you know, they don't have a chin yeah. anymore and things like that. Yeah, and it's like uh, maybe it's a self protective yeah. thing. You get to a certain point, you're like, nah, yeah. partner. Yeah, exactly. It's so, game over here. So you know, it happens to everybody. Nobody can. The only person who's been really riding the wave for the longest time since I've been like a huge fight fan is fucking Max Holloway. He's only lost to bigger, heavier guys. Well, again, he's a lightweight, so I'm not, I mean, I'm not saying he's, the he's shots. A, he's, well, he's a 145er. The he, shots are not, they're still hard, but they're not like you're going up, you know. Just, I mean, dude, Dustin Poirier yeah, he's fucked him up. Yeah. He's never been knocked down in the fight either. Hmm. Uh, but, I mean, Max Holloway is the only one who's been able to survive eras. But it's also, at 145, he's like 6'1". He's, so he's, he's not really that tall? He's big, yeah. Oh, he, wow. He's not big, he's tall. Yeah, he, does, he doesn't get hit like the the dudes in that weight class, class do. Yeah. Like Brian Ortega. Brian Ortega was the fucking man, and now he's got to retire. Like he just got the fuck. Does he have a fight coming up or something? He just fought. He just fought, and he got fucking his shit clapped, and it was bad. Like should, man, it was like when it was as bad as when he Max, he go to Max jiu -jitsu. His jiu-jitsu is pretty good. It's I don't know if it's on the level of like the I would like right I would now, like to but... see it on uh, see how it is on the world stage because. Everyone talks about him like he's like this mythical jiu-jitsu dude. Yeah. And, I mean, he's one of Henner's probably best students, so I'd like to see what Henner has brought to the table. I, I have no doubt he's good. I don't know if he's, <clears throat> like, right now yeah. that he's on the level to do, like, a Worlds or do, like, an ADCC. Yeah. Um, but I think he could get there. Oh, I'm sure. Well, ADCC is two more years away, so yeah. in two years I bet he could get there. But yeah. he, he probably has a contract where he can't do it, you know. So mm, to get those big fights, true. they continuously make you sign contracts yeah. to keep doing it. So yeah, that's true. Um, but where I was going with the Brendan Shop thing, so Brendan Shop said that about about Nick, and then re sometime within the next couple of days, obviously those fools are fans because they listen or they found out about it. Nate Diaz just posted Brendan like the biggest pussy ever, Shop or something like that. And usually Brendan doesn't say anything. Brendan went back and fucking clapped back at him, and it was like. He was like, you want to talk that shit? Set up a fucking jiu-jitsu tournament. He's like, I'll fucking break your neck, dog. And like, these motherfuckers in the real fight game, they think they're... Nate Diaz would fucking clap my cheeks. No mm -hmm. doubt. 
undoubtedly, he would fuck me up. Is he going to fuck up Brandon Shaw, you who's think, fucking 6'4", 250? Did you think Brandon's still training much? Brandon? He, he still trains. Does he? Oh, yeah. Hmm. He's just undercover. That fool is Jack Diesel. He's on all the fucking tests there is. Like, he is fucking huge. He is a ju- There's a picture of him and Francis and Ghanu, and Francis is towering over him. He talked about it on his podcast. He didn't say it for like a month or two. Then he was like, yeah, everyone's like, they're like, I can't believe how big Francis was. And he's like, I told Francis to stand on the curb. I'm standing on the street. So Francis is standing on the curb to look bigger. And Brendan's on the street, but they're close <laughs> in size. That's like, crazy. Brendan's huge. Yeah. And he's probably in better shape than he was in the mm-hmm. UFC. And he's like, he's, I mean, in a fight, I love that Nate has that dog in him. Yeah. But in a fight, they're like, oh, yeah, you got knocked out. He got knocked out by huge motherfuckers. Like, Nate, you don't have power. Yeah. You're a volume fighter, and you're not going to hit him. Yeah. He's not going to hit Brendan. Maybe he hits him. It's not going to do anything. He's a huge person. Yeah, like, a big dude. People need to realize those Side levels matters, yeah. in the world. You know, it's like I'm an ultra, so like I'm bigger than most people that I go against. But then I get in my division, and it's huge humans. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it's like that's like. People need to realize there's a different, like, you can't just be talking that shit. Yeah, it's not like you're talking to some random off the street that has no skill. You're talking about someone that actually has skill. You have skill, but he's also bigger than you and stronger than you. Brennan was a legit top 15 in heavyweight in the era of the heavyweights. Mm -hmm. Like, when it was the most savage, savage heavyweights. Big dudes, yeah. Golden Glove boxer, and he did all that shit, like, in two years. He was a fucking uh, NFL fucking football player. He never made it on a per, on a permanent team, but he was a practice was team he? member. Yeah, he made Ooh. it to the Buffalo Bills practice team. Or he made it to the camp, and then he got let go at camp. But, I mean, he played through college, played the cross. He's a lifetime athlete, and he's a huge person. Like, to come out and talk that shit, you have to be another type of crazy. Like, I talked a lot of shit. I'm not going to go out there and say I could fuck up Brandon Schaub, or even fucking Nate Diaz, or even fucking Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse My would fuck, fuck me up. Well, he, he already did it. He did all... Uh... He was fucking everyone up in the all, um, um, ultra or the uh, yeah, absolutes. Absolutes. Yeah. I mean, uh, he, he lost he the last that black one, in, belt. but that's that black belt. That's his yeah, first black belt yeah, tournament. Yeah, he lost at the last match, but he was winning yeah. like big dudes. I was like, holy crap! That's because he has the agility. So. Yeah, he's able to hop yeah. over and like he's you super know, fast. It's, I would like to, this is probably not a good comparison, but I would like to see him versus like an Omar, where Omar's got thirty years at black belt experience. They're about the same weight. They're about the same size. So could his speed beat Omar's technique? Maybe. I don't know. In athleticism? Yeah, because he's, you know, Mighty Mouse is not even 40, I don't think. He's near 40, but he's, close. he's, he's younger than 40. I think he's 40. like 38 or... Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, at, for MMA, that's old as fuck, especially his weight class, you know. But I just can't believe that people are willing to... Because, like, Brendan seems like I, a nice guy. Like, people are willing to talk that shit about him. It's like, you don't realize what this fucking guy will do to you. I mean, Nate Diaz talks about it. Talks shit to everybody. He don't give a fuck. That's just his... That's his thing. But it's like they, they can talk shit without consequence. Yeah. I mean, there could be consequence. I mean, he called him out. He said, he's like, he's like he, and then someone said, I'll put that fight on. <laughs> oh, the Karate Combat dude said he would do it. And it's like, you don't want to see Brendan strike against Nate Diaz. Like, yeah, that would be crazy. Can you imagine getting hit by someone that fucking big who actually knows what they're hands? doing? He's probably has massive fucking meat hands. He's, he's a big fucking guy. Yeah. I mean, he's not 6'4". Oh, my God. He's fucking huge, dude. Yeah. He's 6'4", like 250, like at ultra athlete. Solid. He said he still runs like 8 to 10 miles a day. Fucking works out like a fucking madman. He still fucking does striking. He does a little bit of jiu-jitsu. Like, you give him a, like six months of just a camp. Like, and he's crazy. So he'll go into a camp and like just go everything, everything else gets put on the side. Like, we're doing a camp. Like, can you imagine that shit? Mm-mm. Could you imagine even, I mean, country, big country knocked him out. But country teaches at um, French and Pachau school. Oh, does he? Yeah. Like, I think, I don't think permanently. I think he's kind of like, yeah, he's like a substitute, you know, he comes in and teaches sometimes. I've seen Fred send post a bunch with uh, with country, but can you imagine rolling against country, what that's like? Dude, he's, imagine dude, pressure. He's, he's fat and overweight, but like, imagine his pressure. He's been a black belt since before yeah, the UFC. Yeah, time. Yeah. And he's a Henzo Gracie black belt. Like, imagine rolling with that dude. He's like another human. Like, yeah. He's like, okay, you. You, I can't tap you. Let me just punch you in the face and see how much, how fucking long you last. You know what I mean? Like, there's uh, like those real MMA fighters, like dudes that made it to the UFC, are on another level yeah, of for human sure. being. You know, absolutely. I mean, that goes with any sport. You make it to that next level. It's yeah. like a different type of person to make it there. NFL, like NFL players or fucking basketball players, like 
people see guys in the NBA miss shots and shit, and they're like, oh, I'd fuck that dude up in one on one. Then you see you see like a college player play a pickup game, and they don't miss a single fucking shot. You know? Yeah. No. No. I was like, what if I want to fight? I'm like. <laughs> I don't know. How do you tell your kids, like, bro, this is like a you got you got to tell them, you got to tell them, like, hey, dude, fighters don't grow up and still cheat, dog. Yeah. yeah. He wants to fight. Have him come live with me. Well, I, he he wants to start training Muay Thai, and he has to go to Team Quest. I'm like, you're not going to Team Quest. Hell no. Because his friend goes there. I'm like, you're not going to Team nah. Quest. So Greg's he's like, Greg's a fucking amazing. So that's teacher. why he's like, can I do Muay Thai at our gym? I'm like, how about you you get this wrestling season done yeah. and you continue to do jujitsu while you're wrestling? Yeah. And then you show me that you can handle that, and then we'll start adding more. But you're not going to be able to do wrestling, jiu-jitsu, and Muay Thai. Like, that's a lot. And school, you yeah. know? So it's like, how about you get through wrestling, you get to do some jiu-jitsu, uh, continue to do jiu-jitsu throughout it, you know? Um, yeah, I mean. I, I'm, I'm really excited to see him compete because he's coming in with even more time on the mats than Nathan yeah. had. And he's been doing wrestling since summer. So if he goes up against other JV people, yeah. that, you know, I'm just curious to see how he he's does. He's a freshman, right? They don't yeah. have a straight freshman team. JV. Just yeah. JV. But, but you, like in football, there's a freshman team because they, the, they don't want freshmen to get hit by seniors. Yeah, JV. No, no, there's a freshman team. I've you never, guys didn't have a freshman no, team? Yeah, JV oh, yeah. And then maybe, maybe it was like the difference in like the divisions because like yeah. I went to a high school that was like a Division One high school. We were Division One. Yeah. We only we had, had JV and varsity. Oh, yeah. We had a freshman team. Hmm. Because they didn't want the freshmen to get. Because like we had to do it on. Well, our, JV, you're not, you're not going to be a senior on JV. Yeah, but I mean, they don't want they don't want men to hit kids. Yeah, you know, at least at least in Nevada, that's how it was. There was a freshman team. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but we'll see how he does. He he, from my understanding, his wrestling is getting better. So he's at he's uh, probably going to do one thirteen is the weight division. Dude, you got to get him to switch schools and go fucking train with Gabe. <sighs> that's too far. Gabe Gabe was like, "Have him come train with me." And I was like, yeah, dude. Those are I. I went. I went over there and yeah, they're, dude, not, they're, sure, not, they're not. I'm fucking sure his around, school is. Dude. They're not fucking around. Oh, I guarantee you. I and they, they got they got some adults in there, working with kids like, and it's not like we're yeah. They got show. a legit program. They have dudes in there who are like, hey, we're here to fight these kids. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're not there to like coach them. Yeah, they're there to fight fucking kids, and yeah. the kids are dominating. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, I don't disagree. I think it's this program yeah. there is probably one of the best in um, our area. Well, I mean, they they got some really good athletes there. I mean, I mean, G should be a college wrestler. You know what I mean? He should. I I would assume he goes Division One. Yeah. In two more years. I mean, his daughter is a three time, two or three time All American. Yeah. I don't. know. We'll see how he does. I just had to buy him some new fucking wrestling shoes. Did you get him those cool ones, like the ones that Stacy has? Stacy posted these super cool ones, and I heard other people talking about they're like the coolest ones you can get. I don't know. I'll just buy them Rudis, and then. Oh, I think that's what they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um. Whichever ones he wants, so just get them. So they like they don't like the, hey. the like the ones with like that are flashy. You they like them super simple. That's why that's why you can't be a fighter when your dad just says whatever whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Have them exactly. come. I mean, my kid's the same way. My kid would never be a fighter. But yeah. hey, have have little potato come live with me. We'll take him out. What I told him, what I told him, take him on the farm, get him to do some farm. Well, shit. I told him the same thing as I told told Nathan. I'm like. I'm like you have like to or make it. You have to make it. Like you have to want it. Like you you shouldn't be complaining when you go to wrestling. You shouldn't be complaining when you go to jujitsu. You should be coming home and hitting weights. You should be coming home and running. There's like, no I should games. catch you. Yeah, I should be catch. I should see you out here doing shit. If that's how bad you want it, like that's how you make it. Like if you don't have that, I don't think. Maybe you'll be a mediocre. Yeah, but you're never gonna make it to the top unless you have that drive. And every scrap. Should be a scrap. There yep. should be no rest rounds in yep. jiu-jitsu. There should be no rest rounds in the mats. Like, do you, mm -hmm. you know who Cody Steele is? Mm -hmm. He just got he just got signed to the UFC. He did the Dana White Contender Series and beat the brakes off some dude. And uh, I didn't really like him as a jiu-jitsu fighter because he was so mm -hmm. aggressive. He was, mm -hmm. like, trying to highlight people off the mats. So, like, mm -hmm. uh, when ADCC was highlighting all those, like, m when they went off the mats, almost all those videos are Cody Steele. Mm -hmm. Fucking fools up on the, on the carpet, right? But now he's transitioned fully to MMA, and he's just that fucking guy. But I've, I just hear stories, people talking about him. Every time you roll with Cody Steele, it's a battle. It's a hundred percent fight. Anytime you spar him, it's a fight. Yeah, that's what you need to be if you're trying to get to that upper echelon. Exactly. So 
I mean, no disrespect to Little Potato, but he ain't got that dog yeah. in him, dude. Yeah. You know, you, you got to put it that's in That's why I'm like, I'm like, put that's it I was like, let's see how you do this first year. Let's see how you, if you go out there and you put it out on the line. And did he agree to that? Yeah. He can't like, be a fighter. He's like, yeah. He should have been like, no, it. we're fighting. Yeah, well, we'll see how he does. I'm so excited. I mean, to you got a punch it back right there. I know, I know he, um, bag up. you know how to throw punches. I know. It's I mean, like, I'll clap your cheeks. He's having the same, he's having the same thing Nathan would have was like, when they do jiu-jitsu versus like wrestling, he ends up fucking just tapping everybody. That's good. But <laughs> yeah, he should like, be but like that's it funny. should be like, in my opinion, if he really wants to fight, he's got to show that he wants to fight. And every time he rolls, it doesn't matter who it is. It should be hundred percent. It should be I I tap you fifteen times. Yeah. I tap yeah. you twenty five times. Yeah. It shouldn't be a, like there was this kid when I first started, he was a white belt too. He was young. He was like sixteen or seventeen, and his dad was a little bit older and he was trying to be a fighter. And every time, I mean, I was a grown man, this kid would maul me, and he would do it to everybody. He wasn't the greatest technique, upper belt to fuck him up. At our school? He was at our school. And mm. he would, but you get him with someone with similar technique, he was fucking your shit up. He had to stop coming because he kept coming out of the ring where Omar's like, you can't come with ring where, dude. And they got offended by it. But that's because he was going to dirty-ass MMA schools, mm. you know? So, but he was trying to be a fighter. You have to have that dog in you. You have to have that switch, like, if I go home and I don't win, I'm going to get hit. You know, that, you got to have that <laughs> mentality. Yeah. Yeah. We'll like, see. I, I mean, I'm Taylor still, should be out here fucking I'm mowing still, the lawn and running. I'm still super fucking, fucking excited to watch. Because um, I've seen his, like, even watching him do jujitsu now, like, I could see the, like, the overlap in his game. Like, he's going for takedowns and things like that. Well, he's, yeah. the things he wouldn't do before, yeah. like, he's, I see him yeah. doing now. I'm like, oh, that's cool. What? I, I told you, confidence. I think we talked about it last week. I felt bad. I had to fucking beat up Nathan. <laughs> but, I mean, there's no... I'm not going to let him choke me. Yeah, he's, he's a fucking good. grown man. Yeah. He's about to be a purple belt. There ain't no way I'm going to let that motherfucker just choke me. Like, I don't think he's going to get it. Doesn't, like it doesn't matter year. if he does, he doesn't. But, I mean, he's on that level of being yeah. one. Yeah. And it's like, I'm not going to let... Just because he's fucking 100 pounds lighter than me, I'm not going to let him choke <laughs> me. Fuck that. Like... I let him put me in bad positions, and then I try to get out of him. Sometimes he do... He's sneaky as fuck. Yeah, He'll catch something. I'm like, I see him. I bitch. see him catch you on sneaky yeah, shit. I'm like, you like, yeah, I'm like, you No, I'm not gonna let him catch me. Fuck that. It's like you're an adult now. Like it's time for you to fucking. I'm like, where'd you learn this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's time for you to feel what it's like to fight dudes who are ready to fight you. you mm. know? I mean, th same thing with potato. It's, potato should be whooping every little kid's ass. Like, I want to see him just go against he, that. He gets really, game. he gets really bored at our gym because. Let's just see him fight Guillermo five times in a row. Guillermo hasn't been coming, but that kid has been there a long time. I, I got somebody for him. I just started sponsoring this kid named Aaron. He's a gray belt, I think, or a yellow belt. Yeah. Dude, I've seen some yellow He's like 12, I think. Amazing. Remember I was talking to him at the fucking tournament. He came oh. up and he was like, where's my student at? That kid's like, he, he's like 14 mm. or 13. He's around potato's age. Yeah. That kid's like on the level. He, he won. He, I've never seen him lose. Yeah, that's crazy. He wins everything. everything. Yeah. Let's get him against him. That's crazy. See what it's like. See if it's bored. Well, he's got a lot of wrestling. So we'll see how it goes. Because he right now he's training Monday through Saturday, and then when they do competitions, they are Saturday Sunday. So if you win Saturday, then you go yeah Sunday. The school takes them to those, though, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll see how they go. Do those? I want to go to all of his matches, but fuck, man, they're like fifteen hour days. Hey, make sure you make it to a couple. Yeah, oh, for sure. I'm I'm going to his first one as soon as I figure out when it's do when it is. I'm going yeah. to his first one. Um, I'll try to make all the local. If ones. it's a weekend one, I'll go. But they're like 15 hours fucking long, dude, the way that they run. It's crazy. The shitty thing is, I mean, all they got is, I mean, if they had beers, it'd be funner. Dude, that would be sick. Oh, we can bring in, we can bring in like a. Uh, I'm not going to get drunk around a bunch of fucking we freshmen. Bring, we can bring in a fucking little. I mean, uh, I might get drunk around a bunch of freshmen. We can bring in yeah. a little fucking. A little uh, banger. A little bang. Yeah, yeah. Dude, a little something, something. Dude, I felt, I felt weird. Some little margaritas, yeah. like a little thermos hey, of margaritas. Don't fucking tempt me, dog. That'd be dope. Hey, but at least they got hot dogs and sodas they do. and shit. Yeah, they have right? hot dogs, sodas, hamburgers, all that That's stuff. That's crazy, though, that they're that long. But yeah, because it's, it's so brutal. I mean, we talk mad shit about the IBJJF, but this shit is on point. Oh, yeah. It very rarely moves more than a half an hour. Yeah, wrestling you know? is... Well, because wrestling, they do it... Like, you have your match, and then it's the next... Then the next... Wait. Like, the next yeah. weight class. And it goes all the way through. And yeah. then when they're done, boom, you come back and you go... I guess it's probably match. to give the time the kids time to rest, but... It's it's long. Yeah. I don't know if that's how it is at, like, college. I... I I don't know. I know when they do the college matches, they're like in big arenas. And shit, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. It's crazy. It's a, it's a fucking tussle. They've already had people quit. 
I'm like, yeah, it's fucking, yep. that's the point. It makes you want you to quit. They don't want you there if you're gonna, not going to be able to fucking hang. Yeah. So, it's wild. All right, Anyways, I got one. What do you got? If you can hit over 120, we'll make some custom t-shirts. <laughs> but I got to see a video. No fuckery in the video. Over 120. I want to see. You hit over 120 times, did you? 127. Right? So I can't even be in my own club. Just let me give me one more rip. Come on, fucker. There we go. That thing's pretty cool, though. I'm like, I wonder, like, who... <clears throat> you need to poop Fuck yourself. less. Let's see. I think you just hit the start. Oh, right. it is pounds, huh? It's pounds, yeah. There's, there's kilograms, Yeah, that's 127. That's, that's 127 legit. pounds. That's legit. So gravity, you got to right? find, like, the right grip on it. Yeah. I, I think if you bring well, it down, it, down, it's better. It slides out this yeah, way, yeah. then you start losing it. So it's like... Let the boys do this. Go get them right now. Damn, did your shoulder just... <sighs> yeah. <laughs> 128. Yeah, so you're about to be in the club with John because I ain't hitting on in 20. Yeah, my shoulder popped. That was crazy, dog. <laughs> uh, that's all I got. Yeah, little, I got to take a picture of that one. I beat my record already. Slow, slow one this week. We beat both, my we're record. Heavy. We're both old and we didn't really get a train, so we don't got a lot to talk about. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I'll be back on it next week. I got to just make myself. You know, my girl's like, oh, and sometimes you're not motivated. I'm like, it's not motivation. You can't have motivation. I just got to. It's about like, this is just what you do. You know? Yeah, I'm the same way. But for me, I'm like, I'm trying to be at the point. Like, I wanted to go all week, but I was like, I know if I go all week, my foot's going to be worse. Yeah, you're getting yeah, an injury. And yeah. it's like, dude, it's that's. I mean, I said it three times already, but that's the thing about being 40 and fighting, dude. It's like <laughs> you're fucking old, and yeah. like if you're not working out and doing everything you need to do, you get hurt. And yeah. even then, it's like it's Omar brought it up again. He was like, hey, we're you know, it's time to be in the the quote unquote camp for that pans and he's like none of you guys are being serious and he's like i see you guys working out in the gym he's like that's the worst thing you can do he's like don't go to the gym and train jiu-jitsu so stop going to the gym and just train jiu-jitsu let's throw on the, uh, the, the asahi and jesus gym. asahi but even then it's like you're that's how i hurt my shoulder because my yeah. shit was already sore yeah, but lifting. you know worn yeah. from lifting yeah and then i got caught in a position where it got cranked and then my shit was i was mm -hmm. out for like two months yeah let me know excuse me i was still rolling but dude i could not use my left arm yeah, it is what it is. Yep. Anyways, hopefully you guys like the podcast. Just a bunch of bullshitting. But uh, tell your homies about us. Yeah, and leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Wait, I got something. We're doing limited edition Black Path Halloween shirts. Black Path slash Vatos. Me and Misa did some oh, shit sick. together. I'm going to put up the – I'll put it up Monday so everybody can see it. Uh, I'm only going to put it up the pre-order for like two or three days. You get one, you get one. If you don't, you miss the fuck out. You miss the boat. You miss the boat. There you go.